Hello and welcome to module 3 of Authors Training and Support. In this module, we'll be discussing about author guidelines. As uh, you can see, author guidelines is a very important parameter for an author that an author must check before submitting a paper. In publishing industry, we can say it's the first thing that an author should check because it tells about the whole structure of paper within the journal. These guidelines help to ensure that submissions adhere to the journal standard and formatting. And it is very crucial for maintaining consistency and quality across published article. So the aim is to educate yourself on evolving ethical standard in writing industry. And the advantage is to enhance quality of co quality and coherency of published content. It includes journal information, types of manuscript accepted, peer review process, formatting and style guidelines, title and abstract, author information, etc. Author guidelines are specific to each journal. As you can see in the picture, uh, we have mentioned here how to reach instructions of any journal. So, if you are opening any journal, you can see here a number of buttons, home, about journal, publication ethics, editorial, reviewer. In the author section, definitely you'll be finding the author instructions in each and every page of the journal. So it depends from journal to journal. You need to check specific journal website for finding the author instructions page. Apart from that, authorship. Authorship is the designation of individual who have made substantial intellectual contribution to a research study or publication and therefore credited as authors. The concept of authorship is very important in scholarly publishing as it represents the responsibility and recognition for the work concluded. Proper authorship attribution is essential for acknowledging contributions, determining credit, and ensuring transparency and accountability in the research. The next thing that we are going to discuss is author contributorship. Contributorship can be defined as the specific role and the contribution of authors who have worked on manuscript like R&D, research and development, data curation, interpretation of figures, uh, preparation of tables, preparation of charts. So what particular author have contributed in that particular paper is defined as the contributorship of the author. The next thing is copyright and legal considerations. As you all might have heard the word copyright. Copyright, understanding the copyright and licensing policies of the journal is very important for the authors. Ensuring that the work they are submitting is entirely original and their own work. Authors must certain that the manuscript has not previously been published elsewhere because republishing a paper is a very ethical crime. And authors sign a declaration or copyright form stating that manuscript and the illustrations within paper is original and he she has taken all necessary steps to avoid the breach of copyright. Next thing is publication fee. IP Innovative don't charge any fee for article processing and peer review, but only charge for article publishing in the form of APC. Then APCs are applicable for accepted papers only. After the peer review confirmation process only, we need to, we ask for APCs from the authors. Waiver policy, as uh, you can see on the journal's website also, we provide 50% waiver to the low economic countries who are listed um, below the economic lines the, as this list is also mentioned on our website. Providing an automatic 50% waiver for authors from these countries after receiving signed letter from their officials that the research was not funded or granted from any organization. Then review process. After ethical submission and editorial scrutiny, we confirm the processing of articles to the authors that the manuscript has been activated for peer review process. Then double blind peer review occurs and on an average, we generally took 12 to 14, uh, 12 to 24 days or in some cases more also as it depends on the reviewer's availability, type of paper and the contribution and the support from authors as well responsiveness we can say in this process peers work on the quality of manuscript in order to enhance it after giving suggestions and modifications in the paper 
to improve and enhance the quality of the paper. The last but not least is author's appeal and correction. In case of any help, in case of any support, how authors will be contacting the editorial office. So as you can see here, we have the ID support at ipinnovative.com. In case of you can contact us at support at IP Innovative and editorial office at ipinnovative.com. Regarding any corrections, notice later, authors can contact the editorial office again so that they can make changes in the paper. And authors are obliged to provide retractions or co corrections of mistakes at any point in time. If the authors discover a significant error or inaccuracy in the published paper, is their COPE guidelines. Committee on Publication Ethics Guidelines for Authors. So we generally adhere to all the guidelines of COPE and it ensures the integrity and ethical conduct of research and publication. Again, it ensures credibility and transparency of the research process. It includes ethical approval, data analysis, authorship, con conflict of interest, peer review, plagiarism, dealing with misconducts and advertising. As we already have discussed all these things in this particular video. Thank you so much for being a part of this session and uh, for more videos, stay tuned with our channel and for more details, you can visit our websites.